Good morning, everyone. What is going on? Don't mind the construction noise over there. They're always building around here. So today is Monday for me, and I'm doing what I like to call thrifting and lifting. In this plaza, there's a Goodwill retail store, and there's the gym that I like to work out at. So on Monday mornings, I like to come to this Goodwill for half an hour, see if there's anything I can find to flip onto eBay or Amazon, and then after that, I go get a nice hour-long workout in at my gym so that's the plan for today let's go see what is in this goodwill to resell boom this is a wrangler shirt it's one of those western shirts this one does look a bit older and it is one of the pearl snap ones so this would be good i think green's half off so i might pick this one up little woman's tommy hill figure denim dress these aren't worth that much and this is 10 bucks so i'm gonna leave it some nike air shoes uh, what are these, the Max Air ones? And they are 15 bucks, so that's a bit too much for those. Let's see what other shoes there are. These are probably good. These look like those, uh, what those Nike Fine It shoes, I think. Only six bucks, so I'll probably scoop these ones up. Um, I'll look up the model number underneath the tongue here, but yeah, should be good for these Fine It shoes. Yeah, looks like we should be able to sell these Nike shoes for like 45 to 55 bucks, so I'm definitely gonna pick these ones up. Pretty cool Gerbo all over print shirt. We buy the jeans all the time, but a uh, long sleeve button down shirt, half off. This might be a good buy. Five bucks after half off. I don't know what it'll sell for, but I'll put it in the cart for now. Single stitch sleeve on a, has an Aeropostale shirt. Single stitch, but not good. <laughs> Here's another single stitch sleeve. It's on a, it's a Grand Canyon, all embroidered Arizona shirt. This might be a good buy, USA tag. Yeah, I'll probably pick this one up, it's nice. This one feels like quality, and if I flip it over, there's that Lulu, Lulu Lemon. You can tell just by the quality sometimes of polos. Uh, this is a definite buy. It's, yeah, price five bucks. This thing's probably worth like 35 to 40 bucks right here. I found an exact comp for only five bucks on the Jubo shirt, and it's the same size, so I'm just gonna leave this one behind. It's not worth it. All right, so not a bad little trip into that Goodwill. The one thing that I wanna stress to you guys is quality over quantity. I know that you probably hear that all the time, but it really is true in the world of reselling. Sometimes it's better to leave the low end stuff behind and go after the better quality stuff that'll yield faster sales and more profit. Uh, I just realized that I was in too big of a rush and I think I left my cell phone in the shopping cart at the Goodwill. So I'm heading back to the store now. Hopefully it's still there. Crisis averted, found my phone, even though the screen's cracked, still want my phone. <laughs> I need to replace this thing, but um, okay, good. I found it. It actually wasn't in the store. Um, I have, it had just dropped down in my car. So found it, good. All right, so I was talking about quality over quantity and I was showing you the two items that I bought. First thing I picked up are these Nike Fly Knit shoes. These are in great condition. And again, Nike, super easy to look up comps. The stock number is underneath the tongue here. So you can just type it in. This one is 526-628-009. These ones are a men's size nine. And I feel like we should be able to get, on the low end, I'm gonna say we'll be able to get $55 for these shoes. Paid six bucks for them. So after fees, after shipping, after everything, we should net right around 36 bucks. And then the second item I picked up is this awesome men's Lulu Lemon polo paid four dollars and 98 cents so five dollars for this thing it is in perfect condition so this one will get washed and then go straight into my personal closet because i love lululemon stuff if we were gonna sell it it would sell for right around 38 dollars so after fees after shipping after the cost of goods we should net or we would net right around 24 25 bucks on that polo so again guys that's why i say quality over quantity because 12 dollars spent or 11 dollars and whatever spent on these two items should net profit us around 60 bucks and i was only in the goodwill for around 30 45 minutes found two really good items that sell nicely, sell fast, and net us a good amount of profit. So again, sometimes it's not about the amount of items you find, it's about having the discipline to look up the items, find good sold comps, and then again, having the discipline to put stuff back. So I'm happy I found those two things. Continuing on with this thrifting and lifting thing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to the gym now, 
finish up with that and then we'll continue on with the rest of this Monday. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. By the way, hit the thumbs up button for me when you get a chance. It, it actually does help our videos. It like drives them up in the searches um, and it means a lot to us to see that we are making good videos that you guys enjoy. So thumbs up button. I'm going to get a quick workout and we'll continue on with day. <laughs> uh, all right, really great workout. Spent uh, 20 minutes in the sauna at the end of my workout. I've been doing that a lot lately and I love it. Really helps like clear up my skin and um, I'm ready for the rest of the day. So I just got a call from our UPS store address. They call me whenever we get wholesale boxes in. So I think we have like four or five big wholesale boxes. It's like three, 400 pounds worth of wholesale. So that's the next thing. I'm gonna head home, take a quick shower, pick up Alley, pick up those wholesale boxes go to the warehouse and uh, get going. That's the thing about this business is that it's always grind, grind, grind. Gotta hustle when the uh, the hustling's good. So let's keep this day going, guys. Ooh, oh, hey, Mo. Hi, Momo. How's it going? Hello, my love. <laughs> Sweet uh, hair thing. Look, I popped into Goodwill and found this for myself. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Right? Ooh. Little bit of Lulu. Ooh. It's a nice one, right? Lulu. Only five dollars, so. Yeah. I actually already had a double shot of espresso today, but another one can't hurt, right? Coffeeed up and ready to go. Next stop is picking up these wholesale boxes. I got three of the six wholesale boxes in my Camry. We're still currently looking for a cargo van. We need just like a little, like one of those Ford Transit vans um, or something like this or this, but we're still looking. So if there's anybody in the, like the Tampa Orlando area that has any leads on those type of vans, it needs to be a cargo van and not a truck because it does rain frequently in Florida. So we need something that is enclosed. But yeah, if anybody in this area has any leads on something like that, um, let us know. Hit us up in the comments or send us an email or something. Our budget's like 10 to 12 grand, um, but we can pay cash. So if anybody has any leads out there, let us know. All right, let's get this stuff to our warehouse. Guys, I legit think I have a problem. I think I have an addiction. I'm addicted to thrifting. I legit can't help myself. I just picked up like 200 pounds of wholesale and I'm gonna hit the thrift store. <laughs> it's like two o'clock now. I figured I could run in there for like half an hour really quick, see if there's anything cool. Um, and then I'll, I'll go to the warehouse. This Goodwill is like right down the road from our warehouse. So I don't think it's a big deal for me to just run in there for half an hour. Anyway, if I find anything cool, obviously I'll show you guys. Check out this vintage Swingster Florida State jacket. I wish it wasn't 20 bucks. It'd probably be a good one to throw up on like Poshmark or Etsy. Some new tags Crocs. These should be good. $13, they're expensive, but these usually go for like 35, 40 for us. 13 bucks on some Brooks, like barefoot kind of style shoes. Probably get these. All right, just got to the warehouse. Managed to get these three wholesale boxes in. Um, this is all like the wholesale that we sell. So we buy a whole bunch of stuff in big bulk and then we break it up into smaller lots like that and we sell them on to our mentoring students. So that's where that stuff goes. Obviously, we don't make a ton of money reselling this stuff on to our students because we also want them to be able to make a decent profit as well. But wholesale like this, selling on to other resellers has become a pretty big part of our business, yeah. Oh, I didn't show you what I picked up at that Goodwill on the way here. Let me show you those things quick. This is why I have a hard time passing up a thrift store, guys, because I can walk in there and find stuff. So these three items, these are brand new with the tags, Crocs loafers, so they still have the tags on them. Model 10128. These were $13 and I expect to get about 40 bucks for those shoes. And believe it or not, new tags Crocs like this sell very fast for us. So I think these will go fast and we'll make a decent profit on them. These shoes were also $13. They are Brooks brand. Pure Grit is the model of them. They're a men's size eight and a half, so pretty decent size. And I think about the same. I think these will sell for about 40. So 40 bucks there, 40 bucks there. And then I also picked up these Venom Fight Shorts for $4.28. These are great shorts. They're a size 2XL, which is a good size. 
Um, this brand I actually wore a lot when I was doing jiu-jitsu, so it's a pretty well-known fight short brand. I think that because of the size and because they're in good condition, I think these will sell very fast for us for around 30 bucks. So that's everything that I picked up at the thrift stores today, guys. I think I'm actually going to end the video here because I have to film all the rest of this stuff. This was garage sale stuff that we picked up over the weekend, and I forgot to film the end of that video. So I'm gonna do that right now, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, please hit that thumbs up button for me, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out, bye.